So, um, I mean, our show is titled The Millennial Athlete. And, you know, as millennials, um, it's it's very easy today to get, you know, with, with all the social media and the glamour element to sport, especially in, in a country like India. It's so easy for the younger lot to get carried away with, you know, the, the glamour or the, the photo shoots and the money that's coming in, you know, Sindhu winning and they're seeing... Uh, you know that side of it and uh, but but it's it's so important you know shlok is now mentoring a few kids and coaching a few youngsters and uh, you know it's it's so important to to ingrain that fact in them that it starts with enjoying the sport you you can't get so carried away with uh, the other side of things that you forget to actually love the sport and actually you know that's that's what keeps you going for uh, for the longest of time yeah, it's, I totally agree. And always when I get asked uh, if I have one good advice for uh, young players or, or anyone playing badminton, I always say just to have fun. And it's not like you have to laugh all the time and run around and think everything is just uh, uh, yeah, easy and everything. Of course, it has to be hard times and uh, hard trainings as well. But in the end, it has to be fun. I really believe that if it if you don't find it fun anymore, you you won't enjoy it and you won't produce the results that you're you're capable of. Uh, but that being said, of course, money and glamour and fame and stuff like that can be a very legitimate uh, form of uh, motivation. Uh, I don't discount that in, in any way, but I just think it cannot stand alone as the only motivation. You, you need to also find a way to enjoy what you're doing by, by actually uh, having fun. And I think that's not specific for badminton. I think that's uh, for any, any line of work, basically, uh, in life. Yeah. This is what has happened to a lot of athletes as well, right? Uh, when they're not having fun on court, uh, there's a different side to them. They're, they're frustrated and nothing seems to be going right. And, and I've seen a similar phase happening to you where you were just not enjoying your time on court and you were having first round losses, but then you went, went back to the drawing board. You said, okay, and I'm going to have fun, new goals, new targets. And uh, you know that is what maybe experience does to you. you know, the more experience you get, uh, you start to understand your game and your mind a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the, the question you also brought up before about how I, I needed to evolve over, over the years, uh, th there's no doubt that I've had to rethink my game many times. Uh, I've been traveling on the tour since I was uh, 19. And yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm 35 now. So of course, uh, I need to evolve because the game is evolving. Um, men's singles is not being played the same way now uh, as it was uh, 15 years ago or even just five or six years ago. Um, so, so you kind of need to evolve all the time and it's completely normal uh, to experience these down periods where the results are, are really bad. We, we can't all be Chong Wei, Lindan, Momota that just keeps on uh, winning all the titles. That's very, very few players who actually, uh, who actually do that. Um, so yeah, for me, it's been pretty natural to kind of uh, find new maturation all the time to evolve my game. Uh, but that being said, it hasn't been easy. I've had uh, really tough times in my career as well. And uh, times where it's not been easy to find that um, enjoyment in, in playing, especially when the results has not followed uh, suit compared to my expectations. So it's, it sounds easy, but it, of course, as you guys also know, it, it's not that simple uh, to, to make it work that way. 